I can't outrun him for much longer. He's got such long legs. <laughs> you know the point is to dodge the ball, right? You must have had a terrible gym teacher. Good thing you've got me now. Isn't that exactly what you wanted? Come on, Coach Pickles. I don't deserve this. That's where you're wrong, pal. Please, don't. Put me down. So, you're not great at dodgeball. Hmm. Let's see if you're any better at basketball. Nothing but net. Coach Pickles, please. Oh, Ban Ban, I'm afraid that was a foul, and I'm gonna have to bench ya. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? You're asking why? Of all people, you should know. Before all this, I was a perfectly happy elephant running free. Guys, wait up! Wait for me! You're too slow! Come on, Pickles! Pick up the pace! <sighs> it's okay! I'll be here when you get back! I lived in the wild with my brother and sister. We were a perfect trio. I found this outside one of those weird cars! Wanna play? Yeah, I'd love to! Let's play Monkey in the Middle! Polly, you know they don't like it when you call it that. How about Pickles in the Middle? Well, maybe we weren't the perfect trio. They had a tendency to pick on me. Throw it lower! I can't reach! <laughs> Face it, Pickles, you're not a great athlete. Maybe you'll grow into it, or not. They'd always play games without me, leaving me in the dust until one day. Edie? Polly? What are you doing? I ran as fast as I could. I'd heard of poachers in our area, but I thought they'd been taken out. I did everything I could to get away. No, no, gotta pull through. But it was no use. I cried out for my family. Edie! Polly! Help! But no one came. They put me up for sale. I'd go to the highest bidder. Take it or leave it, take it or leave it. Anyone want to go higher? Sold to the man in the top hat. Well, 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 little elephant. Looks like you'll be coming with me. The ringmaster. I had a bad feeling about him, and my good feeling was right. You will be of great use to me once you learn to behave. And you will learn to behave. He took me to his circus. You're the sporty type. You're going to have to get used to this, you beast. Throw that ball through that flaming hoop and do it right. Eh, wrong. Not fun, is it? There's a lot more where that came from if you don't get it together. He forced me to do all kinds of tricks, demeaning little shows for humans. It was humiliating. And on top of all that, the constant yelling, the pain, the mistreatment. Well, 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 looks like you're not quite useless after all. No matter what I did, it never stopped. And when I finally thought I had it down, that the pain might stop and I might succeed, I choked. Nothing to see here, folks. He's... No. The ringmaster was furious. You sit here and think about what you've done. No food, no water. That's how failures get punished. He had locked me up in solitary confinement, but that gave me time to think. It wasn't just me suffering here. There were dozens of us, innocent animals being forced to dance for his amusement so he could make a quick buck. I was the biggest and the strongest. I had to be the one to do something about it. All I had to do was wait for the perfect opportunity. All 
these years and you're still useless. Clearly you've never learned your lesson. What the? How dare you? I may have missed that first shot, but I wasn't about to miss this one. Ow! Slam dunk! I went on a total rampage. It's what they deserved! Those horrible humans letting this happen to me! I gave the others time to run and escape. I hope they made it. I was dragged off into another dark cold box. But this time, I had no clue where I was going. I knew I had to make my escape. I freed myself and took off running. I had no idea where to go. I hoped maybe I'd find a nice zoo or some nature preserve. I could only run so far though. Like when I was a kid, I wasn't very fast. And the years of unkindness only made my endurance lower. <sighs> Finally, I lied there for what felt like hours. I needed help, but at the same time, I was lucky no one found me until a strange looking fellow came along. An elephant, all the way out here? The town is no place for you to be. <sighs> Look. Why don't you come with me? I know somewhere you can be safe. You don't know who could stumble upon you all the way out here. If you don't hide soon, you could face a pretty terrible fate. He was right. As strange as he was, I knew I had to take shelter somewhere, so I went with him. He led me to a strange place. It was colorful and inviting, but I had a bad feeling about it. This is my kindergarten. Was my kindergarten. We've sort of fallen on some hard times, economy and all that. That's definitely what it was. Despite the strange vibes I got from the kindergarten, I found myself a little bit of fun. Believe it or not, I actually started to like basketball. And I knew I'd like it much more without the possibility of being shocked. Hmm. For an elephant, he seems strangely... athletic? Well then, we've been in dire need of a gym teacher, haven't we? You still look pretty banged up. Why don't we pay a visit to the medical wing where I can give you a checkup? This man seemed so kind, even if his appearance was strange. After years of mistreatment, the idea of someone taking care of me was so bizarre. But I should have realized he had his own ulterior motives. Don't worry, this is just a transfusion. You're severely deficient in vitamins A, B, C, really the whole alphabet. We want you in tip-top shape so you can start living your life again. You wanted to experiment on me all along, and I let you. You turned me into a monster! Look what you've done to me! Why are you angry? I saved you. Saved me? Look at me. This is even worse than I was before. You ruined my life! Your life was already terrible. <laughs> if I were you, I'd start running. But I guess you weren't fast enough. Get back here! There's gotta be something. Aha! You're trapped now! Hey, Coach Pickles, you wanna play? No! No! You put that down! 